Hey there, it's Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art, and today I'm playing over at the Freshly Made Sketches blog to create this clean and simple Sunday card for you. So the card today is going to feature a whole bunch of different products. We're going to be using a sentiment from the Tree Angle stamp set from Stampin' Up. We're going to be using a pine sprig and a pine cone from the Beautiful Bows dies from Stampin' Up. This is a very versatile die set. It's really fun for Christmas cards be and for any kind of winter themed card because it has three different sizes of pine bow, two different sizes of pine cone, and then a couple of really nice sentiment uh, panels that you can cut with this die set. So I love this. I've used this a lot and I'm happy to be using it today. We're also going to be using a piece of uh, designer series paper from the Heartwarming Hugs paper packet. And we're going to be using a little strip of just jade cardstock with uh, ink from Shaded Spruce. Shaded Spruce is kind of the dark version of just jade, and they coordinate beautifully together. So let's put this card together. This is a really simple one. And what I did was I have to create a little banner out of this panel. So what I did was I it measures three and a half inches wide. So I found the center point, and I made a little dot with my pencil. And I'm just going to go from, cor from the corner to the dot and cut a straight line to create the little fishtail pennant end to this piece. Just like that. And we're going to use this side. I'm also going to use um, my wet glue to glue the pine cone together. So the pine cone cuts an outline and a, a solid part that you pair together to create kind of a dimensional looking pine cone and I'm just going to I'm just going to put a few dots of adhesive on this. I'm just going to dot my adhesive on the back. I don't want too much because it will ooze out the sides, but I just need enough to hold it together. And then I'm going to layer the two pieces together. Whoops. There we go, just like that. And that'll hold them together. And then we can put the card together. So we're going to start by folding um, a piece of cardstock that measures 11 inches by four and a quarter. We're going to fold that in half to create a top folding base card. Then we're going to glue this layer onto the base card. I'm just going to put some of this wet adhesive. This will work perfectly to create that layer. I'm just going to center this on the card just like that. Then we're going to stamp the sentiment onto this cute strip. I'm using the shaded spruce ink and I'm just going to try and center that. It's pretty easy because these are the photopolymer stamps. Yeah, that looks good. And then for this piece, I'm going to, I'm going to add it here. I'm just going to place it there for now. I'm going to glue these pieces to the base card first. So I'm going to use a little bit more wet glue to just put them in place. So we'll start with the sprig. Right about there. And then I'm going to glue the pine cone down. Right here in the center. I'm going to have to add a little more glue, I guess. like that. And then this piece I'm going to pop up with the mini uh, dimensionals. It just makes it um, a little easier to fit them on the back of a, a panel that's so narrow. This is about a half an inch and uh, these fit really perfect on the back of that. Just like this. I really love playing at this sketch blog. It's so fun because it really helps me sometimes when I have a, when I'm creatively challenged as I've been lately. So um, it just makes crafting so easy when someone gives you the sketch to use. So now I'm going to just make a little air bow. And I call it an air bow because I'm t tying it out of thin air. I'm not really tying it to anything. I'm just making it in the air. I'm going to adjust the loops and the tails to about the size I want and then trim it. And then I'm going to add this with a glue dot to my card front and trim the ends a little bit more 
So I'm just going to put the knot in the center of the glue dot and pinch it off and stick it on my project exactly where I want it, right here on the left side. Now I'm going to fuss with it for a minute just to get it right. Like that. And then I'm going to trim these tails because I don't want them to stick off the end of the card. This one will fit up here like this. Kind of tuck this under. I like this ribbon on the spool because it has a little body to it because it's been coiled around the, the uh, spool and it kind of keeps that little shape. And that's the card for today. So I hope you enjoyed this clean and simple card and maybe you'll decide to play over at the Freshly Made Sketches blog too. Until next week, thanks again for watching.